hello there. The big question today is, how do we measure time? Most of us use clocks to tell the time. They help us plan our day. We divide the day into 24 hours. There are 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute. Calendars help us plan our time too. They help us plan our weeks, our months, even our entire year. We can also tell the time by watching the sun. The day starts when the sun comes up. It reaches its highest point at midday. And the day ends when the sun comes down. It looks like the sun moves around the earth, but it doesn't. In fact, the earth moves around the sun. As it does so, the earth turns on an imaginary line called an axis. It will take a year for the earth to move around the sun, and it will take a day for the earth to spin on its axis. So, we measure time by the spinning of the earth. This means that when half the world is in light, the other half will be in darkness. So it can be day in one place and night in another. That's why there are different time zones. This is Shanghai in China. And this is Cape Town in South Africa. It's eight o'clock in the morning in Shanghai. It's light and everybody is getting ready. They're all going to go to school or work. Cape Town is six hours behind Shanghai. It's two o'clock in the morning and most people are in bed. Now, it's six o'clock in the evening. It's light and people are leaving work and relaxing. In Shanghai, it's midnight. It's dark and most people are sleeping. There are 24 different time zones in the world. There's a difference of an hour between each one. So, when it's 10 a.m. where you are, it'll be 10 p.m. on the opposite side of the world. What time is it where you are? 